Energen worked with us to, to kind of co-develop some initiatives uh, where we were looking into different genomes uh, of plant sizes and different complexities to test their uh, Genomagic um, uh, Genovo assembly platform. And at the end of the day, we, we put together about 12 genomes and it, it, really, it really helped us um, verify and, and improve confidence in their and their capabilities and their technologies around putting together um, complex genomes. And we're able to use this data to work with our um, stakeholders internally and really set the stage for the conversation that you know, this dependence on, on proxy reference genomes and, and the limitations that are inherent to that really are, are days of the past that, that fit for purpose genomes or, or multiple genomes based on your population really are achievable now. You know, with this platform and this technology, it's, it's really quite possible to put together these genomes cost-effectively at, at, at the scale you need to do it. It's basically critical because when you're operating in a, in a, in a big data environment and, and you need to leverage this data for multiple purposes, one genome just isn't enough, and especially for breeding applications. And, and what we found is that what Energen was able to do is, is to put together, not only put together the multiple genomes, but, but leverage the information from multiple genomes in a way that, that would distill everything down to the, the relevant parts of the genomes, the most informative part of the genomes, in a process that, that could facilitate breeding approaches wasn't necessarily biotech or GM, this was really geared for, for breeding approaches. And in the end, we expect that, the, um, uh, that this type of information could really reduce the cost of markers while improving the ability and the power to, to breed better germplasm. At its heart, genomics is information about why the plants do what they're doing or, or how the plants do what they're doing. And leveraging this kind of information really helps us, us understand our germplasm better. We, we know that, that um, our germplasm performs well um, based on yield, uh, but now we have the ability to understand how our germplasm performs or, or why it, it actually performs, and we can leverage that information to actually improve the germplasm over time uh, for, for our breeding initiatives. Improving any process uh, in this day, age of uh, big data is really about how you, how you use better information, more information in new ways faster. And breeding is a process and, and the same sort of principles apply. And so without Energen, we would be unable to get the information we need at the speed we need it uh, to improve our breeding processes the way that we feel that we can improve. Uh, the ability to sequence a genome isn't necessarily new. It's, it's been around for a decade or so but it's been so cost prohibitive that, that you really could only do one and, and maybe only part of one, and if the genome was too large or too complex, the, the whole process fell apart. Then the NGS technology comes around and yes, it drops the cost of generating the data, but the ability to put that data together in a meaningful way was, was still cost prohibitive or even time prohibitive once the genomes got too big or, or too complex. And so with Energen now, you've, you've solved the cost and time constraint, and you can, technically speaking, put these genomes together, and you really enable this, this big data environment now where, where you can put the information in a context, interpret it in a context, and get to that point where you're using the better information faster, um, all targeted at, at improving, the, improving the breeding process.